Hello and welcome to my second tutorial on timers in your C-Sharp Windows Forms applications. Uh, I had a request via a comment on one of my previous videos the other day about using a timer to count seconds on a label. Uh, it's very simple but I thought I would oblige the commenter and so what we're going to do is we're going to drag a timer onto our designer. I'm just going to call this TMR Counter we're going to double click the timer to add some code and actually before we do that we're just going to also drag a label onto our form here and I'm going to call that label LBL U uh, you can see there so my toolkit is covering it LBL U so if we go into our timer code what we're going to do is we're going to create us an integer value called i, I'm going to set it to zero, and every time the timer ticks, i is going to plus plus, which basically takes i and adds one to it, and then we're going to update the label with lbl view dot text equals, um, and I'm just going to put seconds, and what we're going to do is we're just going to concatenate the i value to a string like that. So we're just going to basically saying there uh, LBL view dot text equals I which is our counter uh, dot to string so we're getting the string value of it and then we're adding that to this string we've made here which is just going to say seconds. Uh, I'm just going to put a dot on the end there. Um, so that's pretty much all of our, our timer code. Uh, the final thing we need to do is enable our timer so it runs when the program starts and we're going to set it to a thousand because we want it to go every second and the final bit of setup I'm going to do I hate the way these say label one I'd rather they just came blank like they do in the, in, in the web side of things right so yeah we're ready to test our application let's drag that into where you can see and as you can see that's counting the seconds um, the, the comment was actually to count seconds, minutes, hours, um, that sort of math stuff I'll leave up to you, but in, in terms of how to make something count, that's exactly how you do it. Um, I hope that answers your question. Thank you very much.